Hey there, this is Isolde Trachtenberg. I hope you enjoyed today's Encore show. This is an Encore posting of the Self-Made Creative Podcast, as this show used to be called. New episodes will return May 29th with the inimitable Ryan Hayashi. Until then, if you like what you're hearing, please rate, review, and comment. Subscribe to the show so I can keep bringing you the best content for your creativity, your business, and your life. Hello, my loves, and welcome to today's episode of the Self-Made Creative Podcast. My name is Isolde T, and I'm super happy you're here. And here is where I explore how to succeed at the crossroads of creativity and business. Today, I want to talk about creating, planning to create, and sleep. (sighs) So... I'm invited to a Pi Day party. I don't know if you know what that is, but March 14th is known as Pi Day, 3.14159, etc., etc. And I there's a contest, right? So you you make pies and there are different categories. There's the savory pie, the sweet pie. I am the probably the lone entry in the fun-free pie uh, category, which is gluten-free, sugar-free, and vegan. And last year I won. Yay. This year I'm trying super hard to make the same thing. So, unfortunately, (laughs) or fortunately, yesterday was my 26 year anniversary. And because of that, we went out and about and I didn't get a lot of sleep. So I wake up this morning and I'm getting ready to make the pie. I am not a baker. I am not a good recipe follower. I found actually that people sort of split up into two categories, those that bake and those that cook. And I don't know too many people who do both. And here's why. When you bake, let's say you're baking a cake, you put all the ingredients together, you stick it in the oven, chemistry happens because of the heat, out comes a cake. You cannot mess with it in process. Why? Because messing with it could screw it up completely. Then if you're cooking, let's say you're cooking spaghetti sauce, you add a little bit here and a little bit there and you taste it as you go along. Oh, it could use a little bit more oregano or a little more garlic, et cetera, et cetera. So you mess with it while it's in process and you keep adding to it until you get things just right. There are some recipes I'm sure that people follow as far as cooking. I'm not one of them. I cannot follow a recipe. I always get the ratios wrong, the ingredients wrong. And if I don't have a gestalt inside my own head about what it looks like, it's going to be really tough for me to do it right. So I'm baking the pie, and the pie is not a baked pie, but the crust is. And it takes following the exact ratios. So here I am early this morning on very little sleep, and I realize I don't have all the ingredients. So part of this has to wait until later. And Now I'm trying to make the crust and I'm trying to measure things out and I spill chocolate powder all over the place. All sorts of stuff is going wrong. And I think about it and I think, okay, so I could have laid out the ingredients the night before preparing to create. I could have had all of my things. I could have had the recipe. I could have had everything checked off. What do you need? I know what I need. It's all written down and I check off everything that's there. I could have done that. Only it's not my natural inclination as a creative person for me I tend to do things a little bit like a whirlwind, and it's very strange because my business side is very different. I need lists. I need to check things off. I need to know what I've done. I need to know what I'm about to do, and I, nothing gives me greater pleasure than making a little check mark next to an item on my to-do list. Yet baking and cooking, for some reason, creating, I often don't have that wherewithal. Uh, That part of my brain engaging means things go a little willy-nilly. And so I'm trying to make this pie crust, and I, as I said, spilled chocolate powder all over the place, and that slows everything down. And then there's a little bit of, oh, am I going to make it right? Is it going to get screwed up? And I can't find something, can't find the salt to save my life. It's going to be a salt-free pie crust. So all sorts of stuff is going on. In the meantime, in the process of creating, while I'm doing it, I love the motion. I love the stirring. I love seeing it take shape. I love putting the pie crust on the pie tin and flattening it out and seeing if I can make it as beautiful as possible. So all of this stuff is fabulous for me because it's in the moment, in the process of creating. And then when you add in the lack of sleep, 
I think to myself, things go more wrong. And I have to wonder, the lack of sleep, of course, certainly many studies have said, if you're not sleeping enough, a lot of your cognitive functions are going to be impaired and a lot of your physical functions are going to be impaired. That's kind of where I am right now. I'm glad I'm not the one driving down to Richmond today uh, because it would be (laughs) really tough. But the point is that the lack of sleep added to my more haphazard approach, certainly, but it also added at least a little bit to things being allowed to flow a little more. So when I was able to lose myself in the moment of creating, I was actually more lost. I was actually more in the moment. And I think that's interesting because you would think that good sleep would allow better creativity. And probably for many it does. For me today, it allowed a more in-depth journey into the moment of putting the pie crust on, of you know, making sure that the, the little uh, strawberry cups I'm making are going to work on top of the pie. All of that came together in part because I was too tired to, hmm, I was too tired to get the ratios right, but I was also too tired to have a whole lot of self-judgment about the process of what I was doing. So I wonder if there's a happy medium in there somewhere where preparing to create, get a lot of sleep. While you're creating, maybe you don't need as much sleep, or at least you need less judgment. You need less less evaluation and assessment and a little bit more being in the flow. And I wonder if a certain amount of lack of sleep helps you do that. I'm not sure. It's something I'm going to have to think about, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. I invite you to get in touch and let me know what you think about that. Because it's, it's a curious thing, and I wonder if anybody's doing research on it. I hope this helps you at least a little bit when you are in that process of creating, and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Until next time, I send you all of my love, and I will be, of course, doing the podcast tomorrow. If you like what you're hearing, please subscribe, and please leave a review on iTunes and Google Play, because first of all, it lets me know that what I need to tweak, right, if there are things I need to tweak, and it also lets me know that we are connected and connection and communication are two of the most important things in my whole world. So I'd love to hear from you until next time. As I said, I send you my love. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. Please subscribe to the podcast if you're new and please tell your friends about the community we're building here. Today's episode was produced by Isolde Trachtenberg and is copyright Isolde Trachtenberg 2019. Today's music was from Kevin McLeod, Laser Groove, and Ava Marimba, brought to you by Creative Commons License 3.0. As always, please remember this is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Past performance does not guarantee future results, although we can always hope. Until next time, I send you all all of my love.